record that gave me that that that, that high in hip hop, I have to say. It wasn't really a record, it was tapes I was listening to. My man Eric J from Mount Vernon. Um, I used to go over his house and listen to old BAM tapes and old Islam, Africa Islam, you know, Furious Five, all the groups from the old school, Grandmaster Flash, Fantastic Five, Funky Four Plus One More, all these raw MCs and this raw music. You know what I'm saying? It was just amazing. So I learned from that too. That that was the first teaching, you know what I mean? Of me and um, and of hip hop, me being more into hip hop, knowing who these guys were and what they did for hip hop. Which we I, I commend to this day because without them we wouldn't have this. You know what I mean? And basically it's like the respect of the music and what they did, they use live band members like you know some of the 70s records we listen to that we get these breaks and samples from which is a great big part of hip hop that's that's something that a lot of people will always do you know what i mean it'll be always a little sample somewhere here and there in a, in a in a beat but i have to say the first record in hip hop i have to say was freedom it was a song called get up and dance and it was a break but the music was so incredible. And I was, I, I think I had to been like seven years old. And I was scratching, that's when I first learned how to DJ. And I, yeah, and I, I was trying to scratch that record, you know what I'm saying? But I practiced and I practiced and I practiced and I learned it. By, by the time I was eight years old, people was calling me, yo, that's the little DJ, yo. He's nice, da 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 da. And so, boom. Mm. I like a lot of songs that I did. I like, um, there's a song off the Minister Society soundtrack called um, Death Becomes You. Um, there's another track I did on Poetic Justice called On One in a Million that I did with CL Smooth. I thought that was a good beat. Um, let me see. I have to say The World Is Yours. Nas track. Um, Shut Him Down remix, Public Enemy. A lot of the remixes, Jump Around, Remix, House of Pain, DOS Effects when they when they had uh, they want effects out and stuff. The remixes I did for them on their first joint. Um, you know, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You know, it started with the SP. You know what I'm saying? My whole career is based on the SP. You know. And you know, cats to this day ask me, yo, you made that beat with the SP? I don't believe that. You know what I mean? Like, come on, dog. See for yourself, you got that Soul Survivor on the internet right now. I'm making a Soul Survivor. I did that whole album on the SP. You know what I'm saying? And um, now I'm just working with the MP, and which I love. You know what I'm saying? It's just fun to work with. You know what I mean? And then the ideas I have and the massive record collection. You know? And it's just amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's really, really like one of the best things to come out. Roger Lynn, like, really put it down for brothers like myself, you know what I mean? The golden age is coming back tremendously, I believe. I think, I hope, we, we're working hard. I know I am, you know what I'm saying? And I hear cats doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's important that we, we come back and, sh and let people know who, 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 who changed the, the wave of music in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, you know what I'm saying? And that's it, that's important. That, and, and what these cats are doing now is because of what we did, you know what I'm saying? Because we were taught, you know what I mean? So it's like, y'all gotta understand, this is a chain thing. You just don't come out of nowhere and say, yo, I, had, I did this, I invented that, or oh, nobody did this before, or that, you know? There's true, there's new things that people are doing, you know what I'm saying? which is dope, that's dope, you know what I'm saying? But just know, man, know your schools, man. You know what I'm saying? That's important, you know? It's just the state that hip hop's in right now. I just wanna add a little bit more on the flavor and show the young cats, like, you know, how we did it back in the day, you know what I mean? Now, you know, the young cats now are calling us old school, but one day they'll be old school too, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like a chain. I mean, just, just show respect, man. Yeah.